Dude, Ravi Zacharias, he's yes. a big fan of Mission Fest too. I know he's been up several times yes. and always encourages people. In fact, uh, we have a video that you brought along. Yes. Let's have a listen to this most respected theologian, Ravi Zacharias. I'm speaking to you here from Toronto just shortly after a couple of my messages at Mission Fest. And I want you to know that there are ideas that are being presented here that are shaping individual lives. And the song of the Holy Spirit is being sung right here. Your life could be changed by maybe one thought, one verse, one message, and the impact could be exponential as it not only transforms your life, but God through you transforming many others. And then as you listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, wooing you, convicting you, propelling you, emboldening you, to do the work to which he has called you. I've been an itinerant now for 33 years. I've learned something from listening to others. Find out what God is doing and where he is doing it and get in on that task. This city of Toronto is the world's most multicultural city right now. That's what the United Nations has declared. And now when you come to Mission Fest, you see that ethnicity in its multiplicity shown right here. And the unction of God upon the speakers and the audience as they listen to the words presented, I think is gonna be historic. This is where you want to be. Don't miss out on the song of the Holy Spirit as he's singing on the boughs here at Mission Fest. And don't miss out on the verse and the people that could be instrumental in touching your life. I promise you, if you come here with an open heart, you will consider it a defining moment for your life. It's just wonderful to have just got a little window and a glimpse of what God is doing and will continue to do. It's my honor to have been here. I hope you too will experience the same thing as you come. God bless you as you seek his wisdom and his strength. So respect Ravi, and he's exactly right. God does incredible things as people gather who are followers of Jesus, who are, like you say, Jude, are taking the risk and are on the cutting edge, yes. living by faith, obeying his call, right. giving it all to, him, all to him. And he always comes through just on time, doesn't he? Just now, on you, time. <laughs> now you said that there are six of these gatherings, these yes. mission fests. In Canada. In Canada. Tell us the order and where they're located. Okay. We're starting off this weekend in uh, Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And uh, then right after Vancouver, we have uh, mission fest uh, in Winnipeg. And and that's on February the 6th to the 8th. Isn't that a great magazine? Yeah. I fantastic. love that fresh. brightness. Yeah, I know yeah, it looks yeah. fresh, exactly. Yeah, uh -huh. And then of course, from Winnipeg, we have Edmonton. And then at the end of March, we have uh, Halifax. And then in April, it's Mission Fest Toronto. And then next November, it'll be Mission Fest uh, Montreal, which is actually called Mission Global. Oh, so, very good. Yeah. And of course, uh, missionfest.org. All of them are listed there, exactly. as well as Mission Fest type gatherings in the United States. In the United as well. States, it's on, on the home page on the left side under other Mission Fests. Oh, okay. So, well, let's go to another phone call link with um, Reverend Douglas Mott on the east side, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Hello. Good morning. Yes, and you are the uh, chair of the planning committee. Now, your title is Jesus to the Nations, right? It's, it's a Mission Fest, but you call it Jesus to the Nations. Right. Is that correct? That's right. Well, tell us what's happening on the East Coast. First of all, are you warm? <laughs> uh, it's pretty cold here this morning, but the sun is shining, so that's good. That's really good. So, so Douglas, t tell us, bring us up to speed about Jesus to the Nations on the East Coast. Well, we're very excited. This year we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. We start, our first Jesus to the Nations was in uh, February of 2000. And uh, this year, uh, we're excited because we have fantastic speakers, Joseph D'Souza from India, Ron Pierce, uh, who directs Empower Ministries, and uh, it's, we have more than 60 mission agencies, which is really a, a large growth for us. Oh, fantastic. Halifax is a beautiful city as well and very central there, yes. uh, down east for people to come in. Uh, where do you expect people to drive in from? Well, they, they come from all around the Maritimes. We're, uh, we're blessed that way. Uh, we, uh, we've really had um, 
we've had people from New Brunswick, PEI, Cape Breton, and so on, and a lot of people right here from Metro Halifax, too. Uh, Douglas, it is a huge undertaking. Uh, we know, <laughs> we know just even a little bit of gathering people from all walks of life, different cultures, different denominations, uh, different demographics. Why do you do this? What are you seeing is so important that you are committing to this year after year? Well, we really want the focus to be on Jesus. Um, he's the one who gave us the Great Commission. He's the reason we go, and he's really the reason we have the conference. Uh, you know, we, we started with about 300 people that first year, and we had an aggregate last year, I guess, of around maybe 3,000 or a bit more. And, you know, we just, that's really been because of the Lord himself, uh, as well as, of course, a fantastic group of people on the planning committee. But uh, it's really, we just have a real sense that the Lord has given us a vision that this is meant to be a, an area uh, where we send people. You know, for many years, uh, this has been an area where we've sent people or where we've sent commodities around the globe. Mm. And uh, we have a sense that the Lord is saying, now is the time to send people with the good news of Jesus around the globe. Mm -hmm. And uh, Doug, give us those dates. March 27, 28, and 29th at Mount St. Vincent University in Halifax. Oh, fantastic. Well, bless you folks as you gather there in March. Thank you, Doug, yes. for Thanks. being willing to call into 100 Huntley Street. Yes. God bless. Thank you. Uh, Jude, as Kathy mentioned, it is a very big challenge. And I tell you, Mission Fest organization, all these organizations are, are uh, charitable organizations that oh, yes. need financial support. And I know last year, the, it was one of the stormiest oh, weekends the when you had one. Mission Fest. Yeah, and as a result, all year you've been behind financially because yes. of that weekend, uh, the, the great storm that, that struck in yeah. Toronto area. And uh, you folks need some financial support, don't you? Absolutely. Uh, to keep Mission Fest free. And people say, why don't you have a charge for Mission Fest? Like, if we were doing a conference like Breakforth or a conference, a wonderful Christian conference and bringing in music artists like we do, you would normally have quite a large fee to go to that. A three-day conference, you'd be paying 100 yeah. maybe $150 to go. And we try and keep it free. That's wonderful. And and it's a free will offering. It's totally a free will offering. That people are taking it. And if the people aren't there, and because of the storm, your crowd was I cut know. down to maybe 20% of I what know. it should have been or whatever. But you need support. So we encourage people to support Mission Fest. This is very important and very, and it blesses the local church. It blesses the body of Christ. So we encourage you to go to missionfest.org. And through the website there, Jude, people oh, yes. can make a donation, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. This year, um, we have some really great speakers and some programs lined up. Uh, Brian Dirksen is coming to do a concert oh, great. with Musician, the young adults. Singer, and writer. I think I'm a young adult, you know, I mean, anyone can yeah. go. Come on, Jude, we're young. <laughs> we're young. We're young. <laughs> so, you know, that's going to be great. Now, the concert does have a charge mm -hmm. um, because it's, it's kind of like, um, a partnership, if you will. Yes. And then uh, we also have Leadership Day, which is another partnership which has a charge because we have a breakfast with Tony, Tony Campolo. Yes. And uh, of course, there's breakout sessions. We have like about 50 seminars happening and so many different things that are free for people. The kids program is fabulous oh, this year. Oh, yes. And uh, so is the youth program, Engage. Great. Yeah. We have two youth plenaries. Colin McCartney from Urban Promise is doing one, and Shane Claiborne is doing the other. So it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Well, Jude Hodgson, Director of Mission Fest <laughs> Toronto, thank you so much for being oh, with us again on 100 pleasure. Huntley Street. We'll likely have you back again next year because we God are willing. pro Mission Fest, these type of <laughs> gatherings. We <laughs> love it, and it's important that, uh, and you're such an excellent spokesperson person as well for all the different ones across Canada, just letting us know about them. Thank you so much for what you're doing. God's on the move.